Hello world and welcome back to Sid Meier's Sim Golf. If it seems like I'm talking quietly, it's because I am, because you've got to remain respectful at a golf course, I imagine, apart from when you're clapping profusely, you don't want to distract anyone, do you? No, <laughs> anyway, yeah, welcome, welcome back to the game, guys. God, golf is dull, but this, this, this game is brilliant. Well, you know, I, I, everybody has their own taste, don't they? I'm sure some of you maybe like golf. Yeah, I, I I don't know, I don't know, but you know, each to their own. I'm I'm enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying watching. Mm. Mm. Ah. Oh, fresh, delicious beverage. I didn't buy it from one of my soda vendors or refreshers. What the hell is that going on? The hell? There seems to be a black void consuming the hole. Um, well, the fairway at least. Which hole is this? Hole number nine. Hole number nine has been consumed by the nothing. This is like we're gonna see a sort of dog dragon thing come flying in any minute. Yeah, so where are we? We're playing against this dude over here. Um, oh, we're aiming for that hole. Okay, well let's give this a go. We Straight in the hole, right. That's not that hole. This this huge, huge depression in the ground. The ground is depressed in this location. Because, well, you'd be depressed if you were a great big hole in the ground, I think. You know, life's just very unfulfilling when you're a very, very big hole in the ground. And you just end up full of balls. It's tragic, it's awful. Ah, but you know, that's the nature of golf. Ah, yes. Golf, that beautiful, beautiful game that involves grass. That's all I know about it, really. I know very little about golf. I know it was invented in the 1600s by men who liked to wear skirts. Which means they were either, a eh, trailblazers, you know, way, way ahead of their time in terms of the cross-dressing, but I think cross-dressing went on a lot more than you think back then. Hmm. The alternative is they were Scottish, which that, that frankly seems far more likely, you know. So yes, welcome back to Sim Golf. Oh, only I would laugh at my own jokes. Um, I'm not really saying this one other than I mean, last time we tried cheating and it backfired terribly. You know, cheating just didn't work for us. So today we're going to try a radical new concept. We're going to not cheat. <gasps> I know, right? That's, that's, just, that's just so far out there. I, just, I, I can't even imagine it working. But we'll see how we go. We'll see how it works out. Hopefully, it'll be good. You know. I mean, so far we seem to be doing alright. We're, we're two for two. Two for two? Two all. Two strokes apiece, that's one. God. I do not know golf terminology. Clearly. Ooh, wow. Nine yards. That's a good putt. Well done. Come on. Miss, 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 miss. Oh, he scored. That's a draw. Don't get nothing for a draw. Okay, where's the ball gonna go? Where is the ball gonna go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll go for that. Yeah, I, I, I know there's a bogey and a birdie and an eagle and an albatross. I know the birds have runny noses or something. That's what I gather from golf. You know, bogey, double bogey, triple bogey. It's, it's just... Rough. Hole 17, henceforth known as Nandina. Wow. Oh, yes, I knew that skill would improve. Awesome. Back at 100% as well. I can't remember what I was going on about. No, something about bogeys and birds. Oh, well. Yeah... I mean, th this game literally taught me everything I know about golf. And, as I've admitted, that isn't a lot. But still, 100% of very little knowledge is still 100%. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a weird-ass way of looking at it, isn't it? Oh. Today's drink of choice, by the way. Mmm, fizzy apple juice. Okay, it's cider. Um, Hawks Ridge Cider. Not one for product placement, but, you know, that'd be a good name for a golf course, wouldn't it? Hawks Ridge. Can I rename my golf course? Can I rename it? Uh, course report. Can I? No, no, I can't. Um, can I do it here? World map? No? No details? No? Alright, I can't do it. Uh, can I Can I rename my course? <gasps> oh! Hawks Ridge. There we go. Nice. Oh, look, I won one as well. That was very well timed. So far, it's all going well. So, yeah, Hawks Ridge. I like that for a name for a golf course. If I could actually own my own golf course, there you go, that one's flashing because so that's one we're aiming for. If I could own my own golf course, I would call it Hawks Ridge, but I would probably get sued by this side of the company. Mm. Surf chilled, it says. I can't even read why it's bottled. It's very dark in this room. I have a light on, but it's behind me to the left, and the bottle is down on the ground to the right. You know, that makes me sound like a right alcoholic, but, you know, a real alcoholic could have it in the fridge. I don't know. Hmm. That's not like it. It's not particularly dry, and it actually tastes like apples. 
Yes, I know I could get apple juice, but it doesn't have that nice bite to it either. I don't think cider was a genius. Have you noticed how cider and perry sort of have a similar tang to them as well? I know one's apples and one's pears. I suppose we should be comparing his apples and oranges, but apples and pears. Mm. Well, I wonder if that's because they're very similar kinds of fruit. I don't know. They're not exactly identical, but you know, they're more similar than, say, an apple and a tomato. Can you get a tomato alcoholic drink? Is there a drink made from fermented tomato? Because to me that sounds revolting. I mean, and pretty much anything involving tomato is revolting to me, but you know, a fermented tomato drink. That's an interesting concept. Oh wow, if this goes in, oh, that'd be an eagle, won't it? Nice. Whee! It's up, it's up, it's up, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's not as great as it could have been, but it's getting there. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. Yes! This could be paradise. It's pretty impressive, 174 yards to within six feet of the pin. We want Iron Picky to come round again. Aww. Yeah, look at this Andy, you're number one, but only just. Only just, you just like seven points in it. Keep going, keep going. We need more land. Picky, are you playing again? He's not. We need him to come back. Come back, Picky, all is forgiven. <gasps> all these people that could be doing stuff. Okay, um, outgoing and playful, neat and playful, outgo neat and outgoing. <gasps> They're going to be having a very, very happy ending. Um, yeah, active, playful, nice. Outgoing and playful, neat. So right, you guys can... Oh, wow, they get on. Nice. More happy endings? Uh, no. I could have sworn it was a possibility. Oh, well. Oh, well, no, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Thank you. That's beautiful. Oh, I could have sworn it was an option. Oh, well. Who else is having stories? You're having stories, right? You guys. You guys. Oh, no. Can't click on them. Nope. Can't click on them. Hole in the way. Ah, there we go. Okay, story. Tell it. Oh, broke it. Oh. Well, that was a bit harsh. You, what, what, that was a fabulous. Is that someone who's fabulous? Yeah. So he said the same thing, and yeah, improved his mood. Okay, let's try it once more. No, it's not working. Okay, I give up. You people are determined to have a bad time, so I'm going to leave you to it. Do you just hate people like that? You know, no matter what you do with them, they're just determined to find the negative in everything you're doing. They say, oh, I don't want to do that because it's boring, or oh, I don't want to do this because I'm boring, and, you know, shit like that. Those people are boring. Let's, 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 have, let's line them all up and have them shot. Hang on, full of these practical solutions. Boom, down the hole, down the hole, down the slope it goes. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is it in? No, it's, well, it's good. Ah, crap. It's a good uh, 28 yards away. Stop that. Great, now I'm under the tree. Well, me too. I like being under the trees. If I was a ball, that's where I'd spend all my time, under the tree. If I was a ball, what am I talking about? You know, it, 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 it could be fun. You could enjoy it. I mean, do you enjoy being under a tree? What have I got? What have I got that's free? There we go. Free stuff. Lighthouse. Yeah, where's a good place for a lighthouse? There's a good place for a lighthouse. What else have we got for free? Oh, sundial. So, right, you, you definitely live over here. Okay. Okay. Um, we need your assistance here. Here, here. There. There we go. Okay. That'll cheer people up. What else have we got? Free happy golfers. Oh, we can put the windmill. Well, another water mill. Water mill in there. How weird is that? Oh, and I won that as well. Oh, look at that. We've got a water mill with no water nearby. Nice. Now that's that's energy efficiency. That is that is so energy efficient. It doesn't even need the water. Right and go. This could all go horribly wrong. Could will well you know. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say. Go on, up and over the hill, over the hill, and down the other side, and stay on. Stay on. Don't go in the roof. Don't go in the roof. I think that's technically borderline. Well, I didn't get deducted points, so that's alright, I'll take it. Right, um, what are we looking at? You guys! Leo, Alphonse, have a story. Yes. That would have changed anyone, Alphonse. What does Alphonse do? What do you do for a living, Alphonse? Oh, yeah. The wrong guy. There we are. Metro D. Oh. 
Am I the only one who ever used to think that word just said matred? Terrible, terrible at pronunciation. Maharish. Do it! Yeah, balls that up for them as well. Oh, look, you didn't even speak to him. Why is it everyone I speak to? Everyone I try to get to talk to each other, they hate each other. I'm a, I'm a terrible human being. Can't trust me with nothing. Come on, Andy. Let's see what you've got. Oh, I was going to change his tagline. I've forgotten to do it again. Bollocks. I will do it. I will do it. I just, I just forgot to write it down. I can't remember what it was. Damn it. Oh, well. We'll come back to it. I, w I will look it up. I will look it up. I promise. I promise. I haven't completely forgotten. Oh. Oh, look at that. We're up to five million quid. Nice. Into the hole. 90 yards into the hole. That's impressive. Even I'm impressed by that. <laughs> Eagle! No. No, it's not an eagle, sorry. What was it? Birdie. No, Birdie, Eagle, Albatross. Is it Albatross Eagle? No, it's Eagle Albatross, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. Not sure at all. Ah, cool for me, but that's what 104% of people think of this. What? That number makes no sense. How can more than everyone say that? Ah, yeah, balls to that kind of insanity. Um, no, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Oh, I need more length holes. I forgot about that. My holes need to be longer. God damn it. Right, what's this hole? This hole is outstanding. Length, fair. We could improve that. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, come on. Just. The, oh shit, that's going to go horribly wrong and I'm going to lose points. This moved down to here might make it more of a length hole. What do we think? How long does a hole... I, I need to look it up. How long does a hole have to be to be a length hole? This is the question that is keeping me up at night. Well, it's, it, it's not, but we're going to pretend it is. This is the question that torments my sleep. Yeah, he's going nuts with his guitar. Did you see that? Wow, that's an outfit. Come on, potato. Ooh, look. Well, it's not a guitar. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Look, hang on. Let's, let's, let's turn it around so we can actually see what it is. Yeah, look at him go. Got a right little rave on, hasn't he? Nice. Man, I would. I, if, if I lived at a golf course, I'd probably have a rave about it as well. I mean, why wouldn't you? You know, all those balls flying past your house. It's positively obscene. Oh. Can we make them neighbours? Ooh. Yeah, we can. You can live there. Oh, the hell is a two iron? I mean, yes, I know it's a club. But what's the difference between a two iron and a three wood or a f four iron or a seven iron or you know stuff like that? Some somebody explain it to me because I ain't got a frigging clue. I know nothing. Right, we want pink ones here. Pink ones. Give me the pink ones. How do you feel if your house, if your garden, back straight onto that much fairway? And every now and then, a major golf tournament was held just outside your house. I think you'd be pretty intrigued by it at first. Wow, that waterfall looks like it's inside a lighthouse. That, that, that ruined your lighthouse's ability to do its job. What are we paying you for? Nothing. Right. Lighthouse there, lighthouse there. <gasps> what if I make that water? Oh my god, it's getting worse. It is getting... Oh, fine, that's, that's, that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Right, water. Oh. I was thinking that'd be a waterfall. Oh, that's actually quite saddening. Oh, I was hoping for so much more. So much more. Right, where are we playing? Where are we? We're here. Can I get it all? No, I can't get it all the way over there. I can get it there, though. I can try that. What's the lay of land? Come on, people. Tell me the lay of land. It's that one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's even. As long as I land on that, I'll be fine. <gasps> Nope, that's going, that's going over, that's going over. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that. yes! Thank you, Picky. Thank you, Picky. Oh, come on, how did I not get bonus points for that? Look how freaking close that is. That's like, so small I can't even measure it. I love walking over this scenic bridge, so do I. What scenic bridge? Oh, that one, right. Oh, yeah, because it sums up the entire hall. I was thinking, what, where's, where's the scenic bridge here? Where, where is it? What? You people crazy, and then, oh, first thing you walk over after you've taken your first shot is a friggin' bridge. I know nothing. 
Don't ask. Leo, Alphonse, it's time for you to have a happy ending. Wow, they're walking on water. Okay, Jeebus. Oh, for God's sake, just, just be happy. Be friggin' happy. Do it now. Enjoy yourselves. Okay, I'm going to stop now because he's getting very upset. Alphonse is not having much fun. So we'll leave him be. Right, Picky is playing. Picky! Picky, where are you? Yeah, take a picture! Yeah, there we go. Picky picture. Picky picture. He's, he's skilled. One thing we should be keeping track of is do they get better the more they visit? I mean, th this is number seven. Is this number seven better than the previous six? Oh. Is that better than the last one? Left before finishing because he's an ass. As you do. Only an ass would leave my course before finishing, you know? It's the only logical conclusion. I have been a complete and utter dick. Yeah. Some words are just meant to be swear words, aren't they? Just when you put the emphasis on them in the right place, they just sound offensive and aggressive, you know? Like, dick. I mean, yes, I'm now essentially just sitting there repeating the word dick over and over again, trying to make it sound as angry as possible, but you know. Other words like, um. Oh, no, most of the fallout words, really. Um, feck is a good one. So if feck is like something you say instead of, well, the other F word, which I've had no problem saying before, but for some reason I'm refusing to say now. And feck is a brilliant word. Because it can be funny, it can be comical, it can be light-hearted, it can be, wow, I'm awesome. Sorry, Andy is awesome. Andy, I keep calling you me. I can't tell the difference between you and me. No. Yeah, but feck, if you say it the right way, oh, God, it's the angriest word. In any language. Good grief. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. Another one. Bollocks. Bollocks is a brilliant word. As is bastard. Ah, you bastard. No one says bastard better than the Scottish either. You know? As the English language goes, the Scots have a lot of improvement made to it on our behalf. And uh, you know, I, I have to thank you guys for that. You know, I, I, felt, I thank my fellow Britons for taking a language that isn't, strictly speaking, their native tongue. Whoa, crap. Do you see that? That was impressive. Splish, splish, splash, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm from part of the world where English wouldn't have been the native tongue. I, th I think I've had this conversation with you guys before. Because you know that it's got like all these influences from like Saxons and Angles and even Normans, who weren't French, by the way. Yeah, they were Vikings as well, and you know, the Vikings coming in, it had all these effects on the native languages, like, you know, Gaelic and Celtic and all those kind of things. And English came from that. English is not, is, is a language without really a native land, if you really analyse it. It's, just, it's the language of, well, a lot, a lot of people would hate to hear this, but English is the language of immigrants. It's, 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 it's the result of millennia of immigration to the British Isles, it really is. And a lot of the native languages have been almost forgotten. I mean, with the exception of Welsh, which is hideous written language, but sounds beautiful. You just listen to the Welsh talk, and talk in Welsh, it's, oh, it just flows so beautifully. I just love the sound. I love how they can do it, because they make sounds I can't even fathom. And it's just glorious to listen to. And yes, I'm very easily pleased. But yeah, I mean, I find myself wondering what language I would have spoken. You know, if there had been a few differences, if, if you could make a few changes in history so that English didn't develop from all the tongues that came here, what language would it be? Oh, he won that whole. You know, what, what language would I be speaking? It'd be, it'd be some sort of Gaelic, I think. I think it would. Hmm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm from part of the world that was, um, I think, was it the Iceni? Possibly? Yeah, I've been the Iceni who occupied this part of the world. Well, not where I'm living now, but where I'm originally from. I mean, that's a bit far south. Hmm. I, know, I know it certainly became Northumberland. Boing! There goes my ball, there goes my ball. <gasps> stop, 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 stop. Stop, yes! Come on, I've got to get points for that. Oh, what? How? How am I not? How am I supposed to improve this skill? That is literally exactly where it needed to be, and I didn't get a bonus. Po po didn't get any bonus points for it. Oh, this game's shafting me something wrong. That's another one shafting. You were shafted. You were. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and and no no offense, people of the North American persuasion, but ass is so much better than ass when it comes to cursing, right? Just is ass. Just sounds more deliberate, more intentional, more aggressive, and it just rolls better, you know. That ah really adds something. Mm. Asshole, not asshole. Call me an asshole one more time. Gotta love that movie. Who here watches Hang? Who here's watched Hancock? Who here liked Hancock? Best superhero movie of the 2010s. Was it made in 2010 or was it made earlier than that? Best superhero movie starring Will Smith. There you go. <laughs> I think we can all agree on that. Um. And no, no, Suicide Squad is not going to count because they're not superheroes, they're anti-heroes. And in some cases, out and out bad guys. Mm. Ah. Ah, that's refreshing. Oh, wow. I want a gold car. Give me a gold car. I want that. I, w I want one. I want one. That, that could be useful at work as well. Just being able to get in the car and just go. I mean, today at work. Oh, God, today. Well, oh, right, mission. I, I got to drive a BMW 2 Series because someone else had to take a van to get servicing and I had to pick them up and bring them back. And no offence to any 2 Series owners, but that car was just too many attempts at gimmicks. Wow, the cranes are going nuts. But there's too, many, too, too much gimmick going on in the cockpit of that car. You know? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I understand the top of the range one. You want it to change gears on its own and stuff like that. You want the variable speed limiter and you want the gear stick to light up and all kind of nonsense like that but really I just want my three pedals, my gear stick and my handbrake I mean the steering wheel would be nice because you know going around corners is often a benefit especially when the road bends but just some of the shit in there that was just so takes so much control out of the hands of the driver I don't, I understand how it can be useful but I don't understand why if you like driving you would want them I mean, speed limit was great. It stops you breaking the speed limit. But you have to adjust it every time. And, you know, there might be certain instances where being able to go two or three miles an hour above the speed limit is actually a requirement to maintain your safe standards of driving. I mean, we've all been in that situation, haven't we, where you've been overtaking on the motorway or the freeway even. You've had someone come zooming up behind you really, really quick. And, yes, I know it's not your obligation to get out their way, but just for your own safety, so you're not shitting yourselves, you're not panicking, and no one's having issues, you want to speed up, finish the overtake, and get out of their way so they can get past and kill someone else instead of you. You know. I mean, you can just turn the speed limiter off, but then what's the point in having it in the first place? You know. I, 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 just, I just don't get why you would want toys like that when you can't. And, oh god, there was a little dial. On the dashboard, I mean, you had your rev count, you had your speed limit, you had your fuel gauge, and then you had a little MPG count. And now I understand you might want to know your MPG. As a digital display, it makes sense. You know, your average MPG over the distance, the immediate rollout. You know, well, as, as you're going, the immediate, as it's happening, MPG. But this little analog dial, I mean, the scale on it was too small. I mean, there were like three notches between 30 and 80 MPG. What in under what circumstances is this little dancing thing that did not stop moving for an instant? I mean, the slightest millimetre bit of touch to the accelerator, and it suddenly shifted. You know, it drops like a rock. What, what use is that? What, what is the point of having that dial there? Other than there's a gimmick, and someone's going, oh, yeah, it looks like I can see, I can see my MPG dance. I don't know. I mean, I'm on a rant now about this particular BMW. I mean, it was a lovely car to sit in. The seats weren't particularly comfortable, but the climate control was spot on. Now, I love stuff like that. I don't understand the point of having a separate climate controls for the seat next to you. Unless you've got heated seats, which this car didn't, by the way. Weird that you'd have all this other fancy stuff and not have heated seats. But what... what the air vents in, on my side of the car could be blowing out air at 16 degrees Celsius, and the air vents at the other side could be blowing out air at 21, 22, even all the way up to, like, 30 Celsius. Now... At that closer distance, what, what benefit do you get from that? Please, please explain to me. The, the air is going to sort of reach an equilibrium between you. I mean, you, one guy's going to have cool air blowing on him, the other's going to have warm. But they're going to be competing against each other when it's the passenger and the driver. I mean, after that initial moment, it becomes counterproductive and you're just wasting energy. Aren't you? 
I, mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm probably overanalyzing. I just don't see the point. I mean, I can understand down for the front and down for the back, because, you know, you're separated by quite a way, but two people next to each other in the car. But... So I'm giving individual climate controls for everyone in the back as well. But I did drive a Seat Alhambra that had that. But then a Seat Alhambra is a lot bigger than a BMW 2 Series. <laughs> that means a lot bigger. I mean, this thing is like the size of a van. It's a 7-8 seater. And God, that, that was great to drive. I mean, it had the sequential semi-automatic gearbox like the 2 Series did. But it had flappy paddles and the way that the sequential gearbox worked, it felt it just felt more responsive. I mean, I had my foot to the floor and this thing did not change gear. Or, you know, the automatic it delayed for a second or more, which is too much in my opinion. It doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're driving, you notice that kind of thing. And, you know, just reaching down to the gear stick to knock it sequentially into the next gear or to the previous gear. It just doesn't feel as quite the same. Just, just, it still had that delay to it, whereas the Alhambra, when I was driving that, the flappy paddles, oh, they were wonderful. I just did it and instantly it changed gear. If I could have taken that gearbox out, if I, you know, if the features that I could put in my car, maybe nice if my car was actually running, but I would love a gearbox like that because that's six gears, which is beautiful. I mean, my car's got like a two litre engine. Um, or it will do. And a gearbox with six gears would be brilliant for cruising. Really, really would. Wow, yes! Oh, we can hold a tour much. We do it quickly. What, what have we done? What have we done differently? Nice! Why two of them suddenly length holes? Oh, no. I don't know, one minute. Why? 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 What? Where, where's the hold up? What's going on? Oh, I am confused. <laughs> Someone's having, a, having an absolute shite time. But yeah, I mean, these things, I mean... God, I would love to get them into my car. So my car was made in 1999, right? My car is old. Probably older than some of the people watching this. And worse than that, it was designed in the early 90s. So it's old technology. The engines haven't actually changed that much, funnily enough. I mean, the, the, the emissions controls and the timing and all the little sensors and stuff, they're all very mo much more sensitive. But the actual basic engine... The actual manufacturing of it hasn't changed a whole lot in that time. You know, the basics, we're talking like the pistons and the displacement and the finer points of how it's built and put together and the power it puts out is the same. It's all the little extra tweaks you get. You know? It makes a difference. You know, I'm rambling now about cars and you're not here to talk about cars, are you? You're here to watch me play golf, hopefully. <sighs> I don't know. Well, we're not going to play golf now. Uh, where's Picky? Where's Picky doing? Where's Picky doing? What's Picky doing? Picky, Picky's on hole number five. Why is everyone waiting here? What's going on that's making everyone wait there? I do not understand. Right, you, get your ass over here. Is it this? What, what's, what's holding up? What's holding us up? Oh, it's, it's the time. Right, where? Where, where are we? Right, routing map. It's there, isn't it? It's, it's literally that. Come on, right, we can we can we can improve this. Um where's it gone? There it is. Right, you. You I mean I like that hole. I'm reluctant to get rid of it. I really am. Go on, you can do it. Maybe just leveling off uh this particular bit. You know the green? There we are. We'll level off the green. That might help. That might help. Probably not. But do you know, guys, we've been doing this for about half an hour. I think I think we've reached our limit on this one. We'll come in next time. We'll see how Picky's doing. Looks like Jessica and Dobby, Dobby. Looks like they're having fun. We will maybe play another round, see if we catch up with Picky. Just, just something to do whilst we're waiting. And then when Picky is done, we're not going to cheat. We're going to buy more land. We need this bit of land here. This bit of land here will complete me. It'll get rid of a problem there. Uh... Yeah, well, well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Ooh, gold cart again. But yeah, for now, guys, that'll do. Um, well, what more can I say? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Till then, ta-ra. If you enjoy my efforts to be vaguely entertaining, you can now support me on Patreon. A dollar, a pound, a yen, a euro, whatever you've got, whatever you can spare, all helps. 
over a million fed. Thank you for watching and ta -ra.